All right, fourth graders, back today with part two of Trapping a Star. Today, we're going to be going over the first R in trap. All right, so let's check out our learning goal and success criteria. Today, we are learning to engage with the text using the second step in the trap strategy. Today, our success criteria are I can describe what trap stands for, same as yesterday, uh, except this time, uh, our second I can statement is I can identify keywords within a question about a text I've read. And three, I can determine what a specific question is asking. As long as we can keep, uh, keep those I can statements in mind, hit those along the way, I think you will have mastered uh, the second step in our TRAP strategy. So let's check out what TRAP stands for and then move on to that second step. TRAP, if you remember from yesterday, T is for title, author's purpose. R is for read the questions. Our second R is for read the passage. A is for answer the questions. And P is for prove your answers. So let's take a look at our second step here. We're talking about R, read the questions. In this section, or in this step, I'm sorry, we want to read the questions. That seems like a no-brainer, but you know, some people, they just need be told directly you got to read the questions read them carefully please don't go uh, speeding through them now after you read the questions we want to highlight or underline key words and we want to avoid answering the questions okay we just want to get our mind right know what the questions are asking as we prepare uh, to move on to step three which is read the passage so let's give it a try Yesterday, we started working with a text called the dessert with a long history. And so we did step one where we circled the title, we skim skimmed through the passage, uh, noting some, some interesting uh, dates and names that jumped out at us. And then we uh, took a look at the pictures and graphs and circled some of the captions or the headings and titles of graphs. And then we determined what the author's purpose was. Now, we're going to skip down to some of the questions that appear after this text. And they're, the first three are on your screen right now. And so let's read the first one. The first one is, read this dictionary entry. The word stand is a noun. Number one, a frame that is used to hold something upright. Definition two, a small structure from which products are sold. Three, a raised platform for which a person makes a speech. For the place where a witness presents information in a courtroom. Which definition of stand is used in paragraph six? Now, I've read the question. I've read it carefully. Now, I want to move on to highlighting or underlining key words that may help me uh, understand what the question is asking. So, the first thing I notice is, bam, the word dictionary. Now, I know that a dictionary is going to uh, have definitions of words so I need to keep that in my mind as I move forward I need to understand what the words I'm reading mean okay? and specifically the word stand means because it has four definitions then uh, moving down the, the question I see which definition of stand is used in paragraph six something else that jumps out at to me right now is the phrase paragraph six this question is telling me very specifically where to go in order to, to correctly answer this. Uh, they're not asking about paragraph 5 or 4 or 10 or 9. They're specifically asking about paragraph 6. So if, I am, if I'm keyed in, if I'm smartened up to that, then I'm going to underline paragraph 6 so that I know to be on the lookout for word stand when I get to that paragraph. Moving on to, to question number two, what problem did people experience when ice cream was first made in America? If I want to know key words, I think the word problem, okay, I need to, when I start to read, I need to be on the lookout for something that just isn't quite right or some kind of struggle that the people experienced when ice cream was first made in America. Well, I know they make ice cream today in America, but I want to highlight and be aware that in the article, I'm looking for when ice cream was first made in America. 
And since we've already discovered uh, and discussed in a previous lesson, the article in the passage includes quite a bit of dates. It's a it's a history article, so that's going to clue us in that first made in America is probably pretty close to one of the dates that we skimmed through and we identified. Right. Finally, for our example, we have question number three, which of these best supports the title of the article? So I'm noticing that uh, as I read along, I, I find the word best supports. Now, as a kind of a trick that the test writers like to do uh, is they like to put the correct answer and then they like to always put a question or I'm sorry, an answer that is very, very close to the right answer. It sounds right, but there's just something that's a little off. Well, when questions arise like this, which of these best supports the title of the article, that's cluing us up to be on the lookout for one of those that is kind of tricky. Okay? Uh, and then I noticed that it mentions a text feature that I've already identified because I've done a great job on step number one. It, uh, it says the title, which of these best supports the title? Yesterday, or my first step in the trap uh, strategy on star day is to circle the title, to read and circle the title. So I already know what the title is. So this is gonna be hopefully a very easy question to identify because I just need to go back to the, the title, read it under the uh, question. There's gonna be some answer choices and we'll see those in a later step. And then it'll be smooth sailing from there. All right, let's ask ourselves, what did we notice about these questions and how we identify keywords? The question will tell you where to look for the answer. So a keyword might be something like paragraph six or sentence number 12, or if it's a poem, stanza number five. It, it might also tell you about uh, some text features that you've already identified. Okay? And the question is very specific. Which one of these best supports the title? Telling us both where to look for the answer and what the question is all about. All right. Let's move on to the review. Our review, the second step in our trap strategy is our read the questions. During this step, we should always underline or highlight keywords. And those keywords can include paragraph numbers, stanza numbers, sentence uh, numbers. It includes mentions of text features like captions in uh, under a picture or title, or the graph is included, so on and so forth. It might also include important names from the text, such as character names, or people that, uh, like in our example text, uh, people that are important to the history or to the, the topic of the passage. And it will they will mention skills, like summarizing, which detail supports this. So we're we're asked to identify a lot of key information, both within the text and skills that we've previously learned. All right, guys, this has been the second step in our trap uh, strategy of attacking star passages. Tomorrow, we'll be chugging right along with step number three. As always, you guys have been amazing. I've been Miss Remedies. You guys have been absolute all-stars. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Adios, guys.